Owen Abbas is saying here for seconds out. Here with another future star, Mohamed Ali. Um, let's talk about yourself. You made your debut in February. Before we talk about that, you know, these last couple of months, how have, they, how, how have they been for yourself? A lot of fighters have struggled to sort of go to the gym, find the motivation to be in the gym. But, but what about yourself? I've been in the gym regularly, like taking over like three days a week and then doing the rest at home. So yeah, I've been taking over. I want to go back to your debut fight. Um, wasn't the prettiest. Yeah, I, I think I don't know if your opponent was game for you know to stand in front and maybe trade or maybe you know make it a boxing fight. But it seemed to be it seemed to be very very scrappy. Just give me your analysis of that fight. Uh, just messy on it. Like just don't want to know. But can't dwell on it too much. It's a debut. It's gone. It's done and dusted now. So just move on to the next one. And this time around, you know, you're looking to sort of make sure you put on a performance and. You know, you, you sort of got different game plans for rough opponents that might come. Yeah, I think like with these German, they're going to have them uh, holding tactics, just trying to survive. So I've just got to adjust my game to that. I know if you see that in this fight. Talk to me about yourself then. What's, what's the sort of plan for the next 12 months? I know you're young, you've only just turned pro. I'm sure you want to get the experience in, but I'm sure you've got a bigger plan or a bigger picture in, in your head. So say the next 12 months go good, you, you, you fight a couple of times a year. Well, what's the sort of goal? I'm going to take this fight at a time. Like, I'm, not even, I'm not even looking past this fight, but then I just hopefully get a title. Like, that's what I want, titles, so maybe British title or something like that. Fighting behind closed doors this time. Uh, I know that Frank was saying there's going to be tickets available for key workers, but I'm sure when you get on that, you know, it's going to be behind closed doors. There's not going to be like the cheering of your fans there. Um, what do you expect to happen on Saturday night? I'm a fighter, me. I'll fight with no one there. I'll fight 100,000 people there, like it don't matter to me. Like I'm just gonna do my job. But I suppose in the amateurs, and you've obviously got a good amateur pedigree, that you're probably used to not fighting with a lot of people around you. Yeah, like when you fight internationally, you fight day after day. There was hardly anyone there, just the boxers there. So you get used to it. Like a bit of a dead atmosphere. And for, for yourself, who's been your inspirations in boxing, guys? Growing up, um, you know, following the sport. Who's been your inspirations? I think as old Muslim, like it was me, Khan, on the shoulders of footsteps. But as growing up as a boxer, it was Eric Morales, uh, like my base, my style on. Just, he just didn't care, did he? Just always having a scrap with everyone. What was your best Morales fight? Uh, Brayer and Morales, first one. Um, and just, just finally, for the guys that want to sort of follow you on social media, want to follow that journey. What's your social media handles? Oh yeah, my uh, Instagram's m.ali underscore 96 and Facebook's my name, Muhammad Ali. Actually, just before I let you go, um, last weekend, Daniel Dubois for Joe Joyce. Um, since that fight, a lot of people have sort of taken social media and labelled Daniel Dubois as a quitter. Uh, it's a term that's been thrown about uh, a few times with other fighters. What do you make of that? I've never been in that situation, I can't say, but I don't think I'd ever do that. Like, I'd always keep fighting, I think. Well, I like to think so. I don't, I don't, don't see why you take a knee, like, you just wouldn't, would you? Especially for a fighter. Cool, Mo, listen, good luck on, on the weekend. I know your debut wasn't as planned. Hopefully, you know, you can kickstart your career off on Saturday. Hopefully, fingers crossed, all goes to plan. So, man, Mo Ali, thank you very much for talking to Seconds Out.